I wasn't sure if I'd like Walkie Talkie Hawkey because I'm not the biggest fan of Foghorn Leghorn. Not that I dislike Foghorn Leghorn, it's just that I've not explored those cartoons very much. My knowledge of the area isn't that great. But this was nominated for um, an Academy Award for Best Short. And I thought, well, I'm going to give it a watch. And I have to say, um, I actually thought it was pretty decent and I kind of enjoyed it. And I'm basically treating this as my introduction to Foghorn Leghorn. And as far as introductions go, I'm pretty impressed. So this actually focuses on the character Henry Hawk, who I have discovered was a recurring character. And this was actually kind of pitched as a Henry Hawk cartoon, one of the cartoons in his series. But it just so happens that this introduction to Foghorn Leghorn kind of um, made him the centre of attention. I believe this was his first cartoon. And Henry Hawk is discussing with his father um, that he is a chicken hawk and he should try and go and um, hunt chickens. And that's what he's going to do. But he doesn't really know what he is doing. So he goes off and ends up finding Foghorn Leghorn. And Foghorn... Leghorn explains that he is actually a horse because Henry um, Henry Hawk doesn't actually know what these chickens and creatures look like so he tries to present that to pretend that the dog is a chicken and Henry Hawk tries to go off and you know fight the dog and eat the dog and um, it's a lot of fun I, I kind of liked it because obviously the dog's got no idea what's going on. Um, the dog is a character called Dog. Um, I'm not actually, I don't believe I've met the character before at all. Obviously, having not seen that much of Foghorn Leghorn before now, I've still got a lot to learn. Um, Warner Brothers is something that I've kind of been hit or miss with all my life. I kind of watched Looney Tunes growing up, but that's about it. So for me, it's an introduction to all of these characters. But I found it to be very, very funny that this little tiny Henry Hawk believed that this dog was the chicken. And I was curious to know how long Foghorn Leghorn would get away with it and if he would be able to outsmart this, um, this Hawk, Henry Hawk. So I won't say what happens, whether or not that's the case, but I will say I found it to be pretty funny and pretty entertaining and actually really engaging and... It doesn't make me want to go and watch all of the Foghorn Leghorn cartoons, but I now feel like if another one comes up on the Academy Awards shorts list, which I'm sure it will, I will feel quite excited to watch it because I'm curious to see what else this character is going to do. He seems quite cheeky and mischievous, but also um, very good at self-defense as well. Um, although I'm not entirely sure how it, Henry... Henry Hawk would have been able to eat Foghorn Leghorn if he established that he was a chicken because the size difference is clearly apparent. Um, but it does mean that Henry Hawk looks absolutely adorable. It's good fun. I wasn't sure what to expect from it. I find the animation style to be very nice. The animation is very good. The sound effects and things didn't stick out to me too much, but at the same time, I, it didn't sound bad either. So that's, you know, something in its own. I enjoyed it. I'm glad I've seen it. I'm glad I watched it. Um, through the Academy Award short nominations. It's a, it's a really fun way to discover new new cartoon series, um, new directors. This one's directed by Robert, Robert McKimson. I can't fault it. Um, Mel Blanc does all of the voices. Mel Blanc is obviously fantastic and nothing else needs to be said about that. Um, I really enjoyed it. If you've not seen any Foghorn Leghorn, I can confirm that this is definitely a good one to start with.